नमस्कार माई सेल डॉक्टर जी डी गुप्ता प्रोफेसर आई एस एफ कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मेसी मोगा आज फिजिकल फार्मेसी सेकेंड जो कि बी फार्म फोर्थ सेमेस्टर के स्टूडेंट के लिए है उसका प्रैक्टिकल डेमोस्ट्रेशन में आप सभी का बहुत बहुत स्वागत है मेरे साथ हमारे कलीग्स हमारी रिसर्च स्कॉलर इस प्रैक्टिकल डेमो में पार्टिसिपेट्स करेंगे सो आई इन्वाइट तानिया बजाज एंड बीरपाल कौर सो बोथ बिल पार्टिसिपेट्स इन टेक्निकल डेमोस्ट्रेशन ऑफ प्रैक्टिकल फिजिकल फार्मेसी सेकेंड बी फार्म फोर्थ सेमेस्टर सो टूडे वी हैव सिलेक्टेड द प्रैक्टिकल फॉर द डेमोस्ट्रेशन दिस इज द डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ द पार्टिकल साइज बाई यूजिंग माइक्रोस्कोप प्रैक्टिकल डेमोस्ट्रेशन एवरेज पार्टिकल साइज डिटर्मिनेशन बाई माइक्रोस्कोपिंग मैथड्स एप्लीकेशन द टर्म माइक्रोमीटर वॉज गिविन टू द साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी ऑफ स्मॉल पार्टिकल बाई जे एम डाले वाले माइक्रोमेरेटिक्स इन्वॉल्व द स्टडी ऑफ स्मॉल पार्टिकल्स इन माइक्रोन साइज द कंट्रोल ऑफ द साइज एंड साइज रेंज ऑफ पार्टिकल्स प्ले एन इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इन कंप्रेशन एंड कंपेक्शन ऑफ टैबलेट कैप्सूल फिलिंग सस्पेंसन नैनो पार्टिकल नैनो फाइबर डोजिस फॉर्म डिजाइन स्टेबिलिटी एंड ऑल्सो प्ले वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट रोल इन नंबर ऑफ डोजिस फॉर्म determination of particle size so common method used for the determination of particle size in the labs microscopic method sieving method sedimentation method conductivity method and advanced method in those day available this is known as the particle size analyzer aim and objective of this demonstration to learn the principle of particle size determination by microscopic method dispersion like suspension globule size like a emulsion to study the agglomeration of particles and to measure any contamination or mixing in the sample of powder determination of average particle size requirement of this experiment so first one is the microscope this is the student microscope another one is the stage micrometer this is the stage micrometer and this stage micrometer have this is the scale and the least count of this micrometer is 0.01 m another important parts of this experiment is the eye piece micrometer this is the eye piece micrometer in this eye piece micrometer this is also a scale इन दोनों में ही एक स्केल है द पर्पज ऑफ दीज टू माइक्रोमीटर इसमें आपका स्टेज माइक्रोमीटर से हम आई पीस माइक्रोमीटर ऑक्लोमीटर का लिस्ट काउंट फाइंड आउट करेंगे सो मेथड टू क्लीन द प्लेटफॉर्म ग्लास बेयर डिस्पर्सिंग द ड्रग सब्सटेंस एंड पाउडर फॉर द सैंपल clean the microscope and place in the proper place fix the eyepiece micrometer oclometer in the microscope calibrate the eyepiece micrometer with the standard stage micrometer drug substance powder dispersed in the purified water in the dilute form mount the sample on the plane slide measure the size of particles with the help of eyepiece micrometer count accurately a particle at least 300 to 500 particles for the accuracy of average particle size now you can see this is the stage micrometer and objective of this these are the two scale yes please check it what is the how you can fix both scale and coincide to each other after the each other we can find out which one is the coincide to the another parts and we can count down with the stage micrometer and oclometer so can i know how many n1 number of this one this is the i n1 is the 26 and n2 is the 35 as we have given one division of stage micrometer is 0.01 mm now calculation this is the least count eyepiece micrometer using for the calculation formula 
लिस्ट काउंट ऑफ द आईपीस माइक्रोमीटर इक्वल टू एन टू डिवीजन ऑफ स्टेज माइक्रोमीटर डिवाइडेड बाय एन वन डिवीजन ऑफ आईपीस माइक्रोमीटर मल्टीप्लाई बाय जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन एम एम सो लिस्ट काउंट ऑफ द आईपीस एज दिस वन एन टू अपॉन एन वन मल्टीप्लाई बाय जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन एम एम दिस वैल्यू एव आई एव फाइंड एन टू इज द थर्टी फाइव एन वन इज द ट्वेंटी सिक्स डिवीजन आफ्टर दैट वन पॉइंट थ्री फोर सिक्स मल्टीप्लाई बाई द लीस्ट काउंट ऑफ द स्टेज माइक्रोमीटर सो द वैल्यू इज द जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन थ्री फोर सिक्स एंड दिस एम एम कन्वर्ट इन द माइक्रॉन मल्टीप्लाई बाई वन थाउजेंड सो लीस्ट काउंट ऑफ आई पीस माइक्रोमीटर इज थर्टीन पॉइंट फोर सिक्स म्यू एम विच वी आर द यूजिंग टूडे इन द एक्सपेरिमेंट नाउ ऑब्जर्वेशन ऑफ द पार्टिकल सो पुट द सैंपल ऑन द स्लाइड फिक्स द स्लाइड सो माउंट द स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ डायल्यूटेड सैंपल ऑन द स्लाइड सो दैट हियर यू कैन से देयर इज द प्रॉब्लम इन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट इफ यू द सैंपल इज नॉट डायल्यूटेड देन यू कैन फाइंड आउट दिस इज द कॉगुलेशन एंड वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू डिटरमाइन द पार्टिकल साइज दिस इज द स्केल ऑफ ऑक्लोमीटर and you can move this scale and fix this scale on the particle so these are the different different shape of the particle some of the here the some five words some of the other material some of the irregulars of the particle like this this and some of the you can say oblong some of the spherical so you can fix the diameter of the two point this one and this one some of the thick ball some of the small ball like that one so start to count down of the particle so tania bajaj she is the giving the number of the count and she is the changing the scale up left right and all the way and the she can determine the particle near about the 3300 and uh, noting down by birpal kaur so in this way we can count the particles in different different size using the scale now we can go to the data what we have obtained so this is the data here is the serial number 1 2 3 25 like that division i piece in the count down by the oclometer so there is the total is the 150 in the one table and 150 in the another table so total count down is the 300 of particles after that data analysis of the particle prepare the another table for the data analysis so it contain the parts size range in mu m mean of the size range number of particles x x mean mean range multiply least count percent frequency cumulative frequency and n and d n is the number multiply by this one value d nd square nd q and nd4 accordingly i have taken the range according for the 300 particles 0 1 to 3 so total particles the 15 in this range 4 to 6 particle is the 30 7 and 9 range particle is 45 10 to 12 particle 108 13 to 15 60 16 to 18 30 and 19 to 21 is the 12 particle so sum of this one is the 300 multiply by least count of this value by the 13.46 so this is the value and total of this one 1036 percent frequency determine accordingly particles divided by 300 multiply by 100 so this is the percent frequency this is the cumulative percent frequency 5 plus 10 15 15 plus this one 30 30 plus 36 66 plus 20 86 plus 10 96 and for this is the 100 and accordingly we can find out these value using these data now this is the calculation arithmetic mean equal to sigma nd divided by sigma n sigma n means number of particle sigma nd we have Uh, multiply by the n into d so this is the value 44660 and this is divide we can find out this one the particle size is the 148.86 mu m 
another value volume surface mean diameter equal to sigma n d q upon sigma n d square and this is the sigma n d q divided by sigma n d square value is 185.50 micron in the same way we can calculate bed movement mean diameter equal to sigma n d 4 upon sigma n d q this is the value of the sigma n d 4 divided by the sigma n d q so the value is 198.05 micron so after the practical and data analysis and calculation we can easy to find out arithmetic mean you can say average particle size volume surface mean of the diameter bed movement mean diameter and then this is the results the arithmetic mean of the diameter and di diameter of the given powder is this one 148.86 micron volume surface mean diameter is 185.50 micron bed movement mean diameter is the 198.05 micron and we can plot the graph this is the histogram graph this graph between the average particle range of the size with the percent frequency another graph we can uh, here is the draw cumulative frequency with the average particle size range so this is the histogram and if you can go and find out this is the histogram like this one so we can say the mixed culture of the particle size medium range of the particle is the highest very small particle near about the five percent and very big particle only the four percent so this types of the distribution is the particle most suitable for compaction compression flow property and also very useful in the filling of the capsule and other doses form as applicable this is the cumulative percent frequency so this is the nature of the movement like this one so it can be show that the particle distribution in the given sample is equally or you can say is the helpful for the compression because distribution of the particle very justify manner now precaution so some of the precaution is, is essential for the handling of this experiment handling of the microscope so i can say the uh, tania bajaj please show the microscope this is the microscope simple student microscope and it have the three you can say 10x 100x it is the not more than this is the required with the fitted of the stage as well as here is the eyepiece micrometer so cleaning and proper lightning is uh, required for the microscope determination of least count of eyepiece with the help of micrometer it is another part so properly coincide of the stage micrometer and oculometer focus on the particle properly with the two diameter point dilute the sample so that particles segregated no any agglomeration countdown minimum 300 to 500 for the accuracy use the proper formula for the calculation or determination of average particle size frequently asked question of this experiment what is the micrometrics give method for determination of particle size why are you determining particle size how to convert mm into micron give application of particles in the doses form design what is the specific surface area of particles effect of particle size in flow give factor affecting dissolution rate of the drug bioavailability distribution solubility number of parameter affecting the particle size give the advantage disadvantage of the other method of the microscopy sedimentation and any other give importance of the particle size distribution in manufacturing of the tablet and capsule what is the role of bulkiness and compressibility of the powder in the manufacturing of solid doses form now true and false types of the answer in the benefit of the student and teacher also we can conduct this types of the practical using the demonstration give the true and false question give the short answer type question give the multiple choice types of the question and give sometimes fill the blank types of the question in this demonstration i have included all types of the approach so that candidate easy to understand what is the application and what is the use of particle size determination so these are the some of the question i have considered for the true and false category 
now references alfred martin very 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 you can say this is the reference book r s gaur and g d gupta practical physical pharmacy published by cbs publisher and distribution another g d gupta physical pharmaceutics second read on doon valley publisher private limited dehradun some of the figures i have taken from google.com and search this is the message to all take the whole responsibility on your shoulder and know that you are the creator of your own destiny karm yogi bane dhyan yogi bane particle size ko determine karne ke liye apne aap ko contribute kare so this demonstration and our guru given the message always teacher need to change jaisa aap jante hain ki is samay lockdown ka period hai so teacher need to change mindset perception and encourage student to grow so i hope that this demonstration and this presentation it will be the beneficial to the student thank you very much main aasha vyakt karta hu ke ye demonstration aapko acha lagega aur aapke liye kahin na kahin ye upyogi hoga is demonstration ko dekhne ke baad aapko jo bhi aapke suggestions hain unko hum tak zarur bheje या इसको और हम कितना अच्छा कर सकते हैं उसके लिए भी आपके सजेशन वेलकम है लॉकडाउन के दौरान पूरे देश में बहुत से विश्वविद्यालय ऑनलाइन प्रैक्टिकल करवा रहे हैं उसको देखते हुए आईएसएफ कॉलेज की ओर से बहुत से प्रैक्टिकल जो कि सभी सब्जेक्ट के होंगे लगातार डेमोस्ट्रेशन किए जा रहे हैं मैं सोचता हूँ कि ये डेमोस्ट्रेशन प्रैक्टिकल बच्चों के लिए और सब्जेक्ट टीचर के लिए लाभदायी होंगे मैं धन्यवाद करना चाहता हूं अपनी टेक्निकल टीम का जिन्होंने इस डेमोस्ट्रेशन को सक्सेस पुल बनाने में अपना सपोर्ट किया एंड मैं थैंक्स करना चाहता हूं आईटी डिपार्टमेंट का जो कि लगातार डेमोस्ट्रेशन के लिए काम कर रहे हैं मैनेजमेंट का जो कि डेमोस्ट्रेशन प्रैक्टिकल के लिए सभी सुविधाएँ मुहैया करा रहे हैं धन्यवाद